It was a beautiful day at Hogwarts when Harry received a letter carried by a blue and gold owl. It was his acceptance letter to the University of Notre Dame. He was thrilled. Not long after, Harry was notified that his new account had been created and he simply needed to log in to activate it. Let's take a look behind the scenes. The Identity and Access Management team, also known as IAM, manages the entire life cycle of an identity at Notre Dame. They provide tools and processes that control which services each account has access to, and they help integrate other services so that users don't have to remember a new username and password for every tool they log into. When Harry enrolled as a student, the Office of the Registrar entered Harry into their system. This kicked off an IAM process to create Harry's account and enrol him into the services he would need as a student. It created his email account in Google, granted him access to the portal, and allowed him to log into tools such as Box and Sakai. This process is called provisioning. Harry arrived on campus on a lovely day in August. When he swiped his ID card and entered his access code to get into the residence hall, the computer checked against a database of users. This database is called a directory, and it contains a list of identities and various attributes. The directory first confirmed that Harry's card was valid, which is called authentication. In other words, the system knows that Harry is who he says he is, but only residents of this building are allowed in. This is called authorization. The system confirmed that Harry is a resident and allowed him into the building. While the ID card system could certainly query various databases to see if Harry has a valid account and is a resident of the building, it is simpler to check if he is a member of a group. When Harry was assigned to his hall, his account was added to an identity group of residents for that building. The card system simply checks if Harry is in that group. Groups make it easier to manage permissions without manually controlling all the access lists or querying multiple data sources. Nearly every day, Harry logs into his Gmail account. When he logs in, Google recognises that his nd.edu account is managed by Notre Dame's identity provider. Google uses a standard format known as SayML to send a request back to Notre Dame. This request contains information about Harry's attempt to log in as well as what he's trying to log into. Notre Dame runs the SayML request through the Central Authentication Service or CAS. This authenticates Harry using his username and password. Once authenticated, the request continues back to the identity provider to verify that Harry's account is allowed to access Google. It redirects Harry's browser back to Google, which accepts that Harry is who he says he is and that he is allowed in. This process is a typical service integration provided by the identity management team. There are other approaches to authentication and authorization, but SayML is the preferred standard for all integrations with Notre Dame's identity systems. After several years, Harry graduates. The registrar identifies which students are graduating, kicking off another IAM process that sets an account expiration date. His account moves from active to grace, where he has a set amount of time before his account becomes disabled. Disabling an account means the user no longer has access to the account, but all of their resources are intact. If Harry comes back for graduate school or takes a job at Notre Dame, the account can be reactivated and he hasn't lost anything. Over the next several months, Harry's account transitions through various states and the account loses its associated resources. Working with IAM, ensuring users can log in with a single university account is a great first step in providing a positive experience. Every system has identity management requirements. As a result, IAM is involved in nearly every project and getting time for your project can be difficult. If you have urgent or quick IAM questions or needs, contact the IAM duty officer at identity at nd.edu. For more involved requests, complete the IAM request form. You can find these resources, links and more at the OIT SharePoint site. I hope you've learned enough about identity and access management to understand that while it can be complex and highly technical, it's not dark magic.